Hey guys, so in today's video we are carrying on with the official highway code and this time we are going through the rules for users of powered wheelchairs and mobility scooters and this will be this will be rule 36 up to 46. So let's get started. Highway code rule number 36. There is one class of manual wheelchair called a class 1 invalid carriage and two classes of powered wheelchairs and powered mobility scooters. Manual wheelchairs and class 2 vehicles are those with an upper speed limit of 4 miles per hour or 6 kilometers per hour and they are designed to be used on pavements. Class 3 vehicles are those with an upper speed limit of 8 miles per hour or 12 kilometers per hour and they are equipped to be used on the road as well as on the pavement. Highway code rule number 37. When you are on the road, you should obey the guidance and rules for other vehicles. When on the pavement, you should follow the guidance and the rules for pedestrians. Highway code rule 38. Pavements are safer than roads and should be used when available. You should give pedestrians priority and show consideration for other pavement users, particularly those with a hearing or visual impairment who may not be aware that you are there. Next rule, rule number 39. Powered wheelchairs and scooters must not travel faster than 4 miles per hour or 6 kilometers per hour on pavements or in pedestrian areas. You may need to reduce your speed to adjust to other pavement users who may not be able to move out of your way quickly enough or where the pavement is just too narrow. And uh, for more information, you can refer to the law, the use of invalid carriages on highways regulations, 1988, regulation number four. Highway code rule 40. When moving off the pavement onto the road, you should take special care. Before moving off, always look round and make sure it's safe to join the traffic. Always try to use dropped curbs when moving off the pavement, even if this means traveling further to locate one. If you have to climb or descend a curb, always approach it at right angles and don't try to negotiate a curb higher than the vehicle manufacturer's recommendations. Highway code rule number 41. You should take care when traveling on the road as you may be traveling more slowly than other traffic. Your machine is restricted to 8 miles per hour or 12 kilometers per hour and because of that it may be less visible. Highway code rule number 42. When on the road, class 3 vehicles should travel in the direction of the traffic. Class 2 users should always use the pavement when it's available. When there is no pavement, you should use caution when you are on the road. Class 2 users should, where possible, travel in the direction of the traffic. If you are traveling at night when lights must be used, you should travel in the direction of the traffic to avoid confusing other road users. And you can refer to the law, the use of invalid carriages on highways regulations, 1988, regulation number nine. Highway code rule number 43. You must follow the same rules about using lights, indicators and horn as for other road vehicles if your vehicle is fitted with them. At night, lights must be used. Be aware that other road users may not see you and you should make yourself more visible, even in the daytime and also at dusk. By, for instance, wearing a reflective jacket or reflective strips on the back of the vehicle. And you can refer to the law, the use of invalid carriages on highways regulations, 1988, regulation number nine. 
Highway code rule number 44. Take extra care at road junctions. When going straight ahead, check to make sure there are no vehicles about to cross your path from the left, the right, or overtaking you and turning left. There are several options for dealing with right turns, especially turning from a major road. If moving into the middle of the road is difficult or dangerous, you can stop on the left-hand side of the road and wait for a safe gap in traffic. Negotiate the turn as a pedestrian. For example, you can travel along the pavement and cross the road between pavements where it's safe to do so. Class 3 users should switch the vehicle to the lower speed limit when they are on the pavement. If the junction is too hazardous or too dangerous, it may be worth considering an alternative route. Similarly, when negotiating major roundabouts like uh, the roundabouts with two more lanes, with two or more lanes, it may be safer for you to use the pavement or to find a route which avoids the roundabout altogether. Highway code rule number 45. All normal parking restrictions should be observed. Your vehicle should not be left unattended if it causes an obstruction to other pedestrians, especially those in wheelchairs. Parking concessions provided under the blue badge scheme will apply to those vehicles displaying a valid badge. And we reach the end of the video with our uh, last rule for today, which is Highway Code Rule Number 46. These vehicles must not be used on motorways. They should not be used on unrestricted dual carriageways where the speed limit exceeds 50 miles per hour or 80 kilometers per hour, but if they are used on these dual carriageways, they must have a flashing amber beacon. A flashing amber beacon should be used on all other dual carriageways. And you can refer to the following laws behind this rule. Road Traffic Regulation Act 1984, Section 17, 2 and 3. And also the Road Vehicles Lighting Regulations 1989, Regulations 17, 1 and 26. And with this, thank you guys so much for staying with me. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.